Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Gertu with me here bringing you another Minecraft bathtub build tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to be going ahead and building the USS Zumwalt, the, the Zumwalt class guided missile destroyer. Uh, the USS Zumwalt is the first uh, ship of the Zumwalt class. Uh, the ship here is designed to basically have stealth capabilities and uh, pretty much has only the radar signature of a small fishing boat even though that she's a pretty large ship. Uh, she began her sea trials and is uh, pretty much uh, joining the Pacific Fleet. Um, she's uh, pretty much a very uh, new ship and actually she's uh, home ported in uh, San Diego, California, which is uh, where I'm from. So uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, the ship is uh, designed for uh, multi-mission cap uh, compatibility and uh, unlike previous destroyers, it's actually intended to uh, support uh, landing forces or ground forces um, very close to land, uh, which is a uh, very... Uh, uh, different for uh, destroyers and stuff like that, which are typically anti-air and anti-surface uh, type uh, type of uh, you know uh, vessels. Um, but anyways, um, you guys really wanted to see the USS Zumwalt, um, or just the Zumwalt class in general. Um, I believe only two of these were actually built. They were planning on building like 14 of these or something like that, a very large amount. And uh, the product, the ship was just too expensive, and it's just you know not entirely you know what they wanted. So. Uh, they decided to go ahead and scrap the rest, but I believe they have two built. I don't know if they have a third one or not. I think I think they do, but they might. I don't, I don't know. You guys want to let me know. I know for sure that they have two of these. Um, anyways, uh, it's a very interesting ship. Definitely not one of my favorites. It's definitely a weird looking ship, but uh, it's still very cool nonetheless. A lot of you guys did request that I build it and uh, everything like that, especially after the build me building the uh, USS, USS Independence over there. If you guys want to tour over that, you guys can go and check out the cards and also uh, the annotation at the end of this, the uh, video. Um, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the Zumwalt, see what we have going on here, and um, we'll go ahead and pretty much move into the tour once we get that done. So starting off with, you have the two frontal cannons up here. Um, I forget the size of these cannons, but uh, they're uh, pretty nice. Uh, they, they're they really cool, actually. I love the way that they actually work. Um, they're kind of covered up and they actually will open a little bit and the, gun, the barrel of the gun will actually poke out. It's uh, pretty dang cool how it uh, actually works. And the guns are a little bit thicker than I would have liked them to be um, with using the nerve brick half slabs and stuff like that. But that's pretty much what I had to use to get the angle right. Um, so it's not perfect by all means, but uh, it's pretty much the best I could do for this, the scale being 1 to 5. Um, it's very simplistic design, uh, the Zumwalt really is. There's not a whole lot in terms of detailing that I could really do with it, unlike battleships and stuff like that. But you can see I kind of have like the little uh, nooks and kind of crannies. You got the uh, the front bridge and um, you know just uh, various little hatches and stuff like that that can open up on the Zumwalt. Um, all kinds of stuff like that. Coming back here to this section, you have uh, your landing deck. Uh, so very nice uh, landing deck, very uh, nice, simplistic, nothing too fancy for that. And uh, you have your where your uh, garage would be your not really your garage but your hangar for uh, helicopters. It would carry a uh, I believe a sea stallion. I believe uh, carries along with it. Um, on the back here, you just got your um, engines back here. Or not really engines, I should say, but uh, your props, propellers, um, all that stuff. On the top here, just a bit of detailing. Overall, it's a very simplistic uh, ship. Nothing uh, really fancy whatsoever. But uh, hopefully, you guys do enjoy it. Uh, it is pretty cool. And also. Uh, you guys can expect to see the uh, USS Wasp coming soon. You guys can see it over there in the uh, distance. Uh, over there looking really nice on the inside side of the uh, work progress midway. Anyways guys, uh, hope you guys do enjoy the tutorial. And with that, let's go ahead and move into it. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer here. We're going to be going ahead and starting with layer 1. Now, as you guys can see, I have half of it already built. Um, that's what I'll be doing for kind of most of the, uh, the beginning stages of the hull before we get to the pretty much the superstructure that comes out. Uh, just makes it a little bit easier and faster for me to do the tutorial. So basically whatever we do on the right side, or sorry, the left side here, you're going to copy over to the right side. It's exactly symmetrical, so uh, you're just going to copy exactly what we do over to the other side. Now, uh, real quickly, I want to go ahead and uh, point out also, uh, I used end rods for the um, kind of like the propeller shafts here. Uh, underwater, these things won't work, so if you're having this above water, uh, they'll look perfect. But if you guys are having this below water, uh, you'll probably have to use fence gates as well. So go ahead and uh, be sure to make that adjustment. I just love the look of end rods. I think they look a lot better uh, for the shafts. But uh, again, uh, fence gates will work perfectly in that situation. One thing I also want to go ahead and cover, uh, just to make sure that we're all on the same page here. If you're building this in the water, this is going to be uh, basically one block underwater. So as you guys will see, this right here will be the water level, and this will be down one like this. So as you guys can see, your water is going to be pretty much at this level here, and your ship's going to be down uh, one 
just like that. So this is where this layer is going to be fitting in. So make sure you guys also have that uh, taken into account when you start building this, because obviously you don't want this thing sticking out of the water, or you don't want it be, you don't want it sunken down in the water. Uh, so anyways, to go ahead and get started here, we're gonna place down a nether brick up downstairs, followed by a red stink clay block behind that uh, nether brick up downstairs. Uh, coming off this red stink clay block, we're gonna place down an upside down nether brick stair, and this is also going to be the very center line of the ship, so you can take that into account as well. Now, from this upside down nether brick stair here, we're going to take our slabs and we're going to go back quite a bit with nether brick. So, for this, we're going to go ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. Of these nerve brick top steps back so again that's 29 uh and yeah it's just gonna go and go back like that now from this uh row that we placed down the center here we're gonna go ahead and start off by going to our uh, front here we're gonna go ahead and count back with our our top steps so we're gonna go ahead and count one two three four five six seven and on your eighth nerve brick uh, top step here we're gonna go ahead and take nerve brick top steps we're gonna go out to the side like that so it's gonna go one out to the side now from that we're just going to go and take this row we're going to run it all the way along the side here just like this all the way along the side of the ship here and it's going to go all the way back and stop two blocks to being equal from this row so it's going to be two blocks sh shorter on the very end like this and again it's going to be back on your eighth nether brick uh, top side back here where it's going to start and it's just going to go ahead and go out on the inner side like that now go into the row right here we just placed down we're going to go ahead and count from that we're going to go ahead and count one two three and four and five nether brick top sets. We're going to go ahead and go to the fifth one, place down nether brick top set that comes off of it. And we're just going to take this and we're going to go back along the row we placed down previously. And it's going to go all the way along here, just like that. And it's going to stop uh, four blocks from the end here. So you can see you have one, two, three, and four nether brick top sets and um, everything like that. So just go ahead and make sure you have something that looks like that. And looking at the shape from above, you should have something that looks pretty much just like that. Now, once you guys have that done, we're going to go ahead and come back here to this uh, section here. We're going to go ahead and go to these uh, two nether brick top steps here on your side. We're going to place down one, two, and three end rods uh, for the propeller shafts. Again, if you guys are building this underwater, you can use fence gates for this. We're then going to place down a gold block on the end of these end rods, and we're going to place down a uh, stone button, which the stone button won't be able to be placed down underwater, but if you can place it, it's a little bit of nice detailing just to kind of add. So uh, overall, you should get something that pretty much looks like this for the beginning layer. Uh, very uh, simple stuff to begin with and with that we can go ahead and move on to our next layer which will be uh, layer two all right guys so going ahead and moving on to our next layer here we've been going ahead and moving on to layer two now for layer two we're going to go ahead and start off by uh, uh, starting off in the front here now if you guys had our uh, stuff set up from the pre right from the previous layer this right here will be on the surface level so it's going to be uh, the water will be right here at this level and all of that stuff so just make sure that you guys have that all right and uh, we'll go ahead and continue on now in the very front here we're gonna go ahead and go to this nether brick upstairs stair on the very top of the ship we're gonna go ahead and place down a nether brick stair on top of it followed by one two three four and five red stink clay blocks behind it going ahead and go into your fourth red stink clay block we're gonna place down a nether brick top stab followed by another brick upstairs on stair now come off this nether brick upstairs stair we're gonna place down one two three four five and five red stink clay blocks we're going to go ahead and go to these last two red stain clay blocks, and then like we did up here in the front, we're going to go ahead and place down a nether brick up down stair, and a nether brick top sab, just like that on the sides. Going ahead and continuing on, we're going to switch to red stain clay blocks. We're going to go ahead and take red stain clay, we're just going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 red stain clay blocks back, just like that on the side. So it's going to stick out two past this nether brick top sab, like so. Going ahead and take our nether brick uh, stairs, we're going to place down 1 and 2 upside down nether brick stairs, followed by 1 and 2 nether brick top steps, just like that. Going ahead and go into our top steps, we're going to go and place down a row of 3 red stained clay blocks, so it's going to link up with the top steps over here on this row, which you guys go ahead and put that row in as well. And also to cover up this space right here, above the propeller shaft, we're going to place down a uh, red stained clay block, just like that to fill in that space. Now come off the red stained clay block here in the center, we're going to place down a nether brick upside down stair. Followed by a nether brick top sab, nether brick up down stair, red stain clay block, and a nether brick top sab. This right here is representing the rudder. And then uh, on the other side of this, we're just going to take our uh, nether brick stairs. We're going to place down an upside down nether brick stair. Followed by one, two, three, and four nether brick top sabs going back just like that. 
and uh, you're going to do the same thing over there to the air side and what you guys do you'll pretty much have uh, this layer all complete looking at it from above uh, so it looks something pretty much just like that very simple stuff so far and with that let's go ahead and move on to our next layer layer three all right guys so we pretty much got the uh, the uh, whole uh, bottom of the hole basically the part underwater done and uh, we're just going to go ahead and pretty much uh, do the remaining stuff pretty much on camera uh, we'll be able to kind of do it it's pretty simple stuff so we'll just be able to do the rest uh, on camera the re main reason I did the uh, the uh, bottom hole here part was just to make sure I got the dimensions right half on half off so now we're just going to build it all on camera so starting off with we're going to go ahead and go to the very front here we're going to take a stone brick stair we're going to place down one uh, on top of this red stinkway block followed by one and two polished andesite blocks back from it. Going ahead and going to the sides here, we're going to go diagonal from this um, polished andesite block. We're going to place down a, a polished andesite block like that on top of this narrow brick top slab. And we're just going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, and four, giving you a total of five um, polished andesite blocks. Same thing over here on this side, going back just like that. We're then going to go, di go diagonal from this polished andesite block on top of this narrow brick top slab, place down polished andesite block. And this row is going to go pretty much all the way toward the back here. So we're just going to run this all the way along the back here, all the way along the side, all the way like this, all the way back, until you're equal with these narrow brick top slabs right here. Once you guys are, we're going to place down a row of, basically we make this a row of five of a polished dance that goes across like this. So it's going to go all the way across to this side. And you're going to do the same thing over here on this side. Again, taking your polished dance site, you're going to go ahead and run this all the way along the side here, all the way back, just like that. And uh, pretty much have uh, a shape that looks like that. Very simple stuff for the hull, guys. It's a... Uh, crazy simple and once you guys have that done that's it for layer three and with that we can go and move on to layer four all right guys so moving on to layer four now for layer four we have ourselves another pretty uh, simple layer um to start off with what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair on top of this polished andesite full block we're then going to go ahead and place down one and two polished andesite blocks back go into the sides of this polished andesite block and here's side we're going to place down a stone brick stair like that followed by a stone brick stair like so so you create a corner stair with that one in the front and then we're going to do the same thing to either side. And then going from this stone brick stair here, we're going to place down these stone brick corner stair, like that on either side. Now, in the space in between these, we're just going to go and fill it in with uh, some polished andesite, just like that. And going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down a row of three of polished andesite that goes across, followed by a second row of three, and then a third row of three. Now, on the sides here of this row of three, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like this on either side, very similar to what we did up here. We're going to place down a stone brick stair like that to create a corner stair, and then we're going to place down a narrow corner stair right there coming off this stair. And same thing over here on this side, just like that. In the spaces in between the stairs, we're just going to fill in with polished andesite full blocks. Once you guys have that done, we're going to place down a row of five of polished andesite, followed by a second row of five, just like this. And we can go ahead and place down a third row of five as well of uh, polished andesite like that. Once you get that done, we can go ahead and take our polished andesite, and we can just place down rows along the side here. So we're going to go ahead and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 polished andesite blocks back. And same thing over here on this side. Going to go ahead and just run this all the way along the side here like that. And then uh, when we get to this section here, we can just go ahead and fill this section in because this will pretty much be the uh, where the uh, landing pad will be for the uh, helicopters and all that stuff. So for this, uh, very simple, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished down side block going in like this on your side on your 13th block on this row that we have right along the side here. And we're going to place down a gray wool block there in the center. Now as you can see here, we have buttons here kind of representing part of the, uh, the markings and stuff like that for the deck. So that's what we we're pretty much re representing. We're going to be placing down the buttons on top of those gray carpets. So that's what we, uh, uh, or the gray wool blocks. So that's why we have the gray wool blocks. And we can just take our gray wool blocks and we can run this all the way along like this. And then one right before we get to this row of five. And we're going to place down a row of five of stone brick stairs across just like that. Now coming off this row, this, uh, you know, this row of uh, gray wool, we're just going to go ahead and place down polished andesite all the way along the sides here. Just like that, fill in the spaces here and we'll, we'll be putting carpets on in the next layer, which will uh, pretty much cover up the tops of these and pretty much make your landing pad. And once you guys have that all done, that's pretty much uh, nearly it for layer four. We do have a few buttons we can do. Uh, go into the back here, we can go ahead and go to these two polished andesite blocks here. We can place down some stone buttons on either side for uh, just a bit of detailing. And also, we can go ahead and go to uh, this section up here. So, where you have this kind of like this row of five that goes across here, we're going to go ahead and count one, two, three, and four blocks. Place down each stone button just like this on either side. You can kind of see where that's located, something just like that. And just a little bit of detail, nothing too fancy. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer five. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer 5. Now for layer 5, we're going to start off by going to the very front up here to this stone brick stair. On top of it, we're going to place down a iron bar just like this. 
And coming back from that iron bar, we're going to place down one and two gray carpets. Followed by a stone brick half step, which I'll need to go ahead and grab here. Stone brick half step, a stone brick stair, and then a polished andesite full block. Now on the sides here, this polished andesite full block and the stone brick stair, we're going to place down two cobblestone walls, just like this on your side. And this is going to be pretty much your first gun, which will be located pretty much right here. Going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down a row three gray carpet, followed by a second row of three. We're then going to place down on the very center a stone brick half stab, a stone brick stair, and a polished andesite block to make your second gun. And again, you're going to take your cobblestone uh, walls and just go ahead and put it like that on the sides there. Now with that done, we can go ahead and place down gray carpets on top of these two polished andesite blocks here. On the sides, on top of this corner stair and going back two blocks, we're going to place down one, two, and three iron uh, trap doors like this. Same thing here over on this side. In the space in between these uh, iron trap doors, we're going to place down a row of three of gray carpet. Coming off the row of three of gray carpet, we're going to place down a row of three of polished andesite, followed by a gray carpet on either side of the row of three. So just like that. And then going ahead and going uh, diagonal from this polished andesite block, we're going to place down a second polished andesite block like that on either side. And then we're going to place down a stone brick stair on your side. And one thing we can also do is we can grab ourselves a block of coal, um, maybe even some black wool we can uh, use for this. Uh, we can go ahead and go in here, grab ourselves some black wool, if I can actually find it, there it is. Uh, we'll take black wool and place it down next to these stairs just to kind of make sure that we close that off a bit. Um, so you can't be able to actually see through the ship. So uh, something just like that to cover it up. And then along the sides here, we can just place down one, two, three, four, and five polished NSA blocks. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to place down two stone brick stairs like this, one and two. And we can go ahead and again place down black wool uh, on the sides of them just to kind of cover up the inside. We then can go ahead and place down uh, one, two, and three polished NSA blocks, and then one, two, and three back. And on the, these first two polished NSA blocks, we can go and place down some stone buns on them just to give it a little bit of detail. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and take some stone slabs. We're going to place down one uh, full block of them right there, followed by a second one, and then a third one to kind of create a row of three. Uh, like this for the kind of like the uh, door that would open for the hangar to put the helicopter in and out. And then for this uh, landing pad here, very simple. We're going to go ahead and go to the gray wool. We're going to place down one and two buttons. We're then going to place down a row of, of three here of um, kind of a white carpet. And we're going to kind of wrap this around to kind of create a square like this with an open space in the middle there, which we're going to go ahead and leave alone. And then we're just going to take our stone buttons and we're just going to go ahead and go and continue back along that gray wool. And uh, pretty much anywhere that you guys uh, do not have uh, anything on the back here, we're just going to take our gray carpet and we're just going to go ahead and pretty much uh, cover this all up uh, just like this. So let's go ahead and kind of cover up all the tops of the polished andesite blocks just to give the uh, the uh, pad its uh, nice kind of darker gray color, uh, which looks really nice. And once you have uh, that all done, that's pretty much it for uh, layer 5. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer 6. Alright guys, so moving on to layer 6. Now for layer 6, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start up and go into the uh, front up here for the guns. Now if you do want to have the guns um, opened up and to be pretty much in the firing position, uh, to do this, we're just going to go ahead and place down a narrow brick top, or half stab like that, followed by a narrow brick top stab coming off of it. If you guys don't want the gun open, you're just going to leave it like this, but uh, we're going to go ahead and make both guns open uh, just for the sake of the tutorial. We'll just go ahead and pretty much uh, make both guns open uh, to look something just like that. Now with that done, we can go ahead and come back here. So you, uh, on this space right here, we're going to place down a um, stone brick top stab on the, ver on the very center top of the uh, polished andesite block there in the center, followed by an upside down stone brick stair like this on either side. Now go ahead and go diagonal from the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a stone, a, um, another stone brick upside down stair. So one like this. And same thing over here, we're going to place down another upside down stone brick stair like so. And in the space um, in between, to kind of cover this all up, we're going to go ahead and again take black wool and just place it down along there just to kind of fill in the spaces and cover that all up. Along the sides here, from the back of the stair, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four stone brick stairs. Same thing over here. We're going to go ahead and go back four stone brick stairs like that. We're then going to place down a stone brick top stab like this on your side. And again, taking your uh, black wool, we're just going to place down a block behind it just to kind of cover it all up. Going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down one, two, and three stone brick stairs on your side going back and then when we get back here to this point uh, between these uh, stairs here so your third stairs we're going to place down a row of three of polished andesite just go and fill in the space in between the stairs just like that once you have that done we're going to take our stone brick uh, top slabs or sorry half slabs we're going to place down a row of five that goes across like this followed by a stone brick stair like this on your side 
and in between the stone brick stairs in another row three of stone brick half subs just like that and then coming off these uh, stone brick stairs we're going to place down a polished anti block on either side and we're going to grab ourselves some stone half subs place down a row three just like that on top of the uh, row three of uh, stone half sab full blocks uh, right there and once you guys have that all done that's pretty much it for uh, layer six and with that we'll go ahead and move on to our last final layers uh, we'll just go and get them out of the way we have layers uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, which, which, in which we'll just go ahead and pretty much uh, complete the whole superstructure and pretty much complete this build. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to our final layers. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our last final layers for the build, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the very front up here. And on top of these um, this, uh, upside down stairs, basically where the bridge would be, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like this, followed by a stone brick uh, corner stair on either side of that stone brick stair like that. Behind those uh, stone brick stairs, we're going to place down a row 3 of polished andesite. We're then going to place down a stone brick half slab, followed by a stone brick stair uh, coming back from it. So just like that, same thing right here. Just like that, going back. And in between these uh, these uh, half slabs and stairs, we're going to just place down a row of 3 here of black stain clay just to go ahead and fill it in like that. Once you get that done, we're going to place down a row 3 of stone blocks, followed by a row 3 of polished andesite. That goes across like so. We're then going to place down a um, stone brick top step like this on uh, either side. And behind that top step, we can just go and place down a black wool block just like that to go and fill it in. We then want to go and take our polished andesite, place down a row of three, followed by a second row of three, and then a row of three of stone brick stairs that goes across just like that. Now going ahead and going up one layer, we're going to go ahead and go to the front up here again. On top of this row of three of polished andesite, we're going to place down a second row of three, and we're going to place down a, um, a no row three so you have uh, one row and then two rows we're gonna place down three four five six seven and eight rows of three of polished andesite that go back just like that again going up to the front here we're gonna place down a stone brick stair here we're gonna go ahead and place down a corner stair on either side of that stone brick stair like that and we're just gonna go and take stone brick stairs and run along the sides here so we're gonna place down one two three four five and six we're gonna place down another corner stair a stair like that, a narrow corner stair, and then this row that goes all the way up to connect up like that. Now in the space right here, we're going to go ahead and take our polished andesite. We're going to place down one and two blocks like this. Black wall block, a polished andesite block, a stone slab full block, and then a polished andesite block just like that. Now on top of this, we're going to place down a polished andesite full block, followed by a skeleton skull on top of it. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone pressure plate, place down a stone pressure plate. On top of the black wool block, we're going to place down a stone button. On top of this polished andesite block, a stone pressure plate. And then we're going to place down two buttons, one on top of this um, stone uh, full block here and this uh, polished andesite block, just like that. And once you guys have that all done, that's pretty much it for the uh, USS uh, Zumwalt, uh, Zumwalt class guided missile destroyer. Uh, overall, it's uh, pretty uh, decent for the design. Uh, personally, I'm not a big fan of the Zumwalt uh, design of the ship, of the ship but... Uh, I think it uh, definitely came out pretty decent for Minecraft, especially at this scale. I think I was able to pull it off pretty decently, and hope you guys do enjoy it. Um, as always, if you guys do end up using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This may anything from a sign of the build to link to my channel or this video. This is apparently any social media sites. Just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow, and it helps me continue to produce uh, these videos. Other than that, guys, be sure to adjust what Modern Warfare vehicles you guys want to see next time, and I'll be sure to try to get to them as soon as I can. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Miguel204, and I'll see you guys next time.